Homeward Bound, Daily Devotional by Andrew White God's Law is Eternal, June 8th Think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am come to not to destroy but to fulfill. Matthew chapter 5 verse 17 It is our Creator, the giver of the law, who declared that it is not his purpose to set aside its precepts. Everything in nature, from the moat in the sunbeam to the worlds on high, is under law. And upon obedience to these laws, the order and harmony of the natural world depends. So, so there are great principles of righteousness to control the life of all intelligent beings and upon the conformity to these principles the well-being of the universe depends. Before this earth was called into being, God's law existed. Angels are governed by its principles and in order for earth to be in harmony with heaven, humanity also must obey the divine statutes. To Adam and Eve in Eden, Christ made known the precepts of the law. When the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shout for joy. Job chapter 38 verse 7 The mission of Christ on earth was not to destroy the law, but by his grace to bring us back to obedience to his precepts. The beloved disciple who listened to the words of Jesus on the mount writes, long after under inspiration of the Holy Spirit speaks of the law as the perpetual ob obligation. He says, sin is a transgression of the law and that whosoever committeth sin transgresses also the law. 1 John chapter 3 verse 4. He makes it plain that the law to which he refers is an old commandment which you have had from the beginning, 1 John chapter 2 verse 7. He, speak, he is speaking of the law that existed at creation and was reiterated upon Mount Sinai. Speaking of the law, Jesus said, I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. He here used the word fulfill in the same sense as when he declared to John the Baptist his purpose to fulfill all righteousness. Matthew chapter 3 verse 15. This is to fill up the measure of the law's requirements, to give an example of perfect conformity to the will of God. His mission was to magnify the law and make it honorable. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 21. He was to show the inspirate so he was to show the spiritual nature of the law, to present it far reaching principles and to make to make plain its eternal obligations. Jesus, the express image of the Father's person, the effluence of his glory, the self denying redeemer throughout his pilgrimage of love on earth was a living representation of the character of the law of God. Homeward bound.